We're back, and we got we had another lovely lady that has wonderful to talk about, and her name is Audrey Redmond, and she has a lot of places she works as for. So I'll just let her talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, so much. It's so nice to have you here. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Yes, we um, at West Fresno Ministerial Alliance, as I was saying, they're on sabbatical from June to September, but the office never closes. So we've been working on five projects. <laughs> five. Five of them yeah, oh my gosh. all at one time. And one is in uh, November that's a huge project. The other one's January. But you start a year ahead of time on oh, these yeah, things. You have, you have to. You really do. Um, the first one is this next Wednesday. Oh, we're having, fast. I know, it's fast. We're having a tea. What it's called West Fresno presents high tea. It's oh. a high tea for the ladies of the kingdom. Wow! So <laughs> we're trying to get the uh, women of faith, and particularly the pastors' wives, to become an auxiliary oh. of oh. Uh, of us because the women do all the work. Of course, as usual. <laughs> uh, yes, definitely. They do all the work. So the tickets are $10, and it's going to be September the 11th, and no one can forget that date. I no, mean, no. really, that what happened, there's no way you could forget that, no, uh, that that's date. For sure. And it's going to be at North Park Community Church. And if they want the tickets, they can reach me. They're still available. Okay. And they can give me a call, and we will make sure that they get their, their tickets. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. They're beautiful little tickets. I, well, my assistant, she designs all that oh, really? stuff, and I just go for it. I tell her to go for it, and <laughs> yeah, that's what for, she oh, does. It's very, very attractive. Mm -hmm. And people like things that are pretty, then women especially. Oh. If it's pretty, they like it. <laughs> and you notice it's purple on the end. That's her favorite color is purple. <laughs> and then we have another one that comes up uh, October the 19th. And it's with the American Cancer Society. Oh. That's one of our partners. And um, I'm going to be the guest speaker. <gasps> hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, I'm a cancer survivor, so we're going to speak oh. on, on cancer oh, and, and the surviving. And a lot of people don't know there's a lot of different forms of cancer, of course, and the ribbons. Those ribbons that you see pink is for breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Well, they have a lavender for something else. So we'll, oh. we'll let them know all ab about that. Okay. So that one is October the 19th, and it's at Hinton Center. And that's going to be from 3 to 10. That's a long time. Yeah. But it's going to be dancing afterwards. Uh -huh. Aha. Aha. And this is the ticket for that? Yes, this is a ticket for that. And the purple. tickets are <laughs> purple. And the, uh, there, it's $25. We have the tickets available for that, too. And what will happen there? Uh, it will be a, a, a meal, a dinner, the speaker. Uh, we will tell them about a lot of things that will be happening at the center. Mm -hmm. We are actually going to have a senior program oh, at the center. Wonderful. Mm -hmm, where the, we'll have different speakers on health and different things once a month. Mm -hmm. But then I'm dragging two of my pastors with me, too. <laughs> I just talked to them today, and they agreed. So if people have uh, difficulty or someone to talk to, uh, when it comes to faith, we'll have the pastors there available. Oh my for gosh, them. that's super! Mm -hmm. yeah. Two of them. Well, yeah. This this is a beautiful thing too. So, I know the people in the in your uh, work work are just really good, uh, creative people. Yeah, they are. And that's what they you are. need to have when you're mm -hmm. trying to put something together like this. Well, this is beautiful. Really, it gives you a little more time to think about this and. We'll, we'll have you in again so that... I haven't bring. even put my presentation together yet. Oh my I've been gosh. so busy with all uh, the other projects that's know, going you, on. You know what's going on. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's something that's mm -hmm. part of you, and, mm -hmm. and that's what... It, it'll come out. I, I hope so, because I don't speak well when it comes to having reading. I have to speak from within, so I have to just kind of prepare myself. Well, that's for that. the way yeah. I am too. I, you know, just do it. <laughs> yeah, really, really. Don't don't take up my time to write a mile long that 
nobody wants to hear anyway. So. <laughs> that's, for, that's for sure. And, and the uh, third one is one. a Teen Challenge. They have what they call a Rise Fresno. Oh. It's at the Fresno Fair, and it's October the 13th, and it is um, – from 12 to 2.30, you hear a very prominent speaker. I don't know if people remember the young man that has no legs, and I think he has an arm missing, but he was a speaker last year, oh and heavens. it was just to watch him. I've seen him before, but just to watch what he does and how he does it mm. in to think I'm complaining and to watch him and what right, he does, right. it makes you we, we think forget, twice. We forget that you know, we're not the only one around. <laughs> That's so very true. Well, this one is from noon to 2.30, and uh, the doors open at 11.30. The catch on this one is always a catch always on a everything. <laughs> You go, take the ticket. The ticket is free. The event is free. You go to the event and hear the speakers. You have the rest of the day at the fair. <laughs> Normally, it costs quite a penny to get in. That's for sure. When you have a huge family to get them all in. This way, you get into the fair, and it doesn't cost you. Oh, but wow. You have to listen, there's take the catch. time. There's oh, the there's that catch. <laughs> but it's worth it. Yes. It's worth it. So, and it's, again, it's put on by Teen Challenge. And this is where they take people that are addicts, whether it be alcohol or drugs and things, and mm. turn their life around. Oh, good, 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 and good. turn their life around. So this is the kind of uh, things that West Fresno um does the ministerial mm -hmm. alliance is over 60 years old now we had i heard this morning one of the uh, persons that has been at one of the pastors over 30 years oh my goodness yes. oh, my over goodness. 30 30 years so well it, just to be in the in the group of, of people that are really in love with god that's mm -hmm. good that's good it's, it's good. good but i tell them please do not give a mic to a pastor or a politician, they never <laughs> shut up. You can't get a word in edgeways. Well, you talk all you want now. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I do enough of that, so they think anyway. I do enough of that, but it's I'm their administrator. That's what they have me there for, so I put everything together. That's where these five projects come in, so... <laughs> That's a lot of work. I, I, one project is a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been with them about almost nine years. Oh. So I know the projects. They're set sort of in stone. Uh -huh. And I've worked through them enough over the years that, uh, and I've done them alone enough over the years that I can handle them. It's the strength to handle them best. Yes, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Where really. does that come from? Mm. That comes from God, I guess. Only. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> if, I, if he didn't give me the strength to do this, I'd probably be in bed right now. <laughs> bed sleeping. When you, twice a month, I get up very early to be at two meetings. Mm. And this one is at 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Once a month at 7 oh o'clock in the morning. And I try to have everything prepared the week before so I can have it there for them. Oh, uh, gosh. They just walk in and expect everything to be be prepared. Oh, yeah. yeah. Magic. Mm -hmm. Magic happens when m women are around. Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> what would they do without us? Not much. <laughs> I think I'll ask the pastors after this tea is over because the tea is... What two of the pastor's wives, speaking of life in a fishbowl. <laughs> yeah, I just got some fish. And she, <laughs> talk about fish. <laughs> yeah, they're they're going and they're they're totally different. Um, one, the pastor is active when he's asked to preach. And he and his wife do everything together. They go places together. Um, they've got a big family. And she, they, they're both sweet people, but they're different. Mm. 
the other one, I call him my teddy bear because he's <laughs> boisterous and he's he's loud when he wants to be, <laughs> and he preaches heavily. If you know, some of them preach soft, some of them don't. Well, he's yeah. on the don't side, <laughs> and his wife goes her way because in her denomination, the women have their hierarchy, and he has his hierarchy on his side as a pastor. <laughs> so he prepares, he was just telling us today he prepared for one of the bishop's funerals and what they have to go through to prepare oh, it. My gosh. And uh, she goes her way and he goes, but they still go together. Oh. They, have a, they have a mind all their own, but it's one. Yes. It mm -hmm. connects. The other has a mind that's there it's intertwined together. Yeah. Well, somehow they're putting it together. <laughs> yeah. And their fish bowls are different. Totally, totally different. <laughs> and I think this is where the women will enjoy hearing the difference of uh, their lifestyle. Oh, I think so. I yeah. think so. You got the right idea. Oh, I'm wondering what was I going to ask about? Uh, how did you get involved in this in this uh, project? I mean, from the beginning when you got With in West Fresno. Yeah, uh, I worked at the college where I finally, after being out of school fifty years, finished up my degree, and I was sitting at the table at that meeting, and I'm I'm a person that I take notes just for my own sake. So I was taking notes, and the pastor that is now the president, asked. he was the secretary, and he asked me, well, since you're taking notes, would you mind taking a No, I don't, don't mind. <laughs> so I started going to the meetings, and it wound up that I was elected. The president at the time, well, let's put you up for a secretary. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. <laughs> So they did, and I was elected secretary. Well, the one that I called the Ted, my, my teddy bear, he, when it was at the first meeting, he walks up to me because I'm talking, I'm taking personal notes, I'm in, involved in the conversation. Yeah. And he says, you know, if you were my secretary, you would be quiet and do nothing but take notes. <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> well, yes, if you were. I said, then it's a good thing I'm not your secretary then, isn't it? <laughs> good for you. <laughs> and we've been good friends ever since. Because he's a pastor. Pastors don't expect you to say anything. Right. They just want you. No, don't follow you. No, 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 no. Don't follow you. Uh, okay, this is just such so fun. <laughs> I was, I'm enjoying this. And I, I really need, this is a tea, which you don't see teas very often anymore. It was something no. something before, so this is bracket, bringing them of the past to the present. And then this arise, that's really a, a make to get you get into the tech. Uh, the fair. fair. Mm -hmm. And uh, this little thing. What was this one? Again? That's the cancer ball. The cancer ball. Mm -hmm. And this is really something special. And it's for a good thing. It's for a good cause. Mm -hmm. So anyway, thank you so much for You're coming welcome. in. You're welcome. I'm so glad you did. Please keep coming in. I shall. Okay. I promise I shall. It's good to see you. Yes, it is. The next time I'll remember you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, honey. All right. You. You're welcome. We'll be right back. <laughs> 